Hello YouTube, I'm Player One, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're just gonna get right into it. We are opening a couple of Annihilate EX boxes that I found at Walmart, yeah. Uh, we got one, we got two of them. We're also gonna be opening up a couple of packs that have been just lying around on the desk, waiting to be opened, and I haven't had time to fill myself opening them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. First, let's take a look at the Annihilate EX box. Uh, we are looking at it here. We got Annihilate on the front, we got Mankey, and we got Primeape, so we get a full evolution. And right on the back, if you look at it, you get a little blurb here with some more art. So if you want to take a look at that, you're free to pause the video. Let's just go ahead and open it. So this box does include four packs. From what I can tell here, it has one pack of Scarlet and Violet, two packs of Paldea Evolved, and it looks like one pack of Lost Origin. Setting those packs off to the side. We're going to go ahead and open the second one right now as well. Again, two packs of Foul Day Evolved, one Scarlet Violet, and one Lost Origin. Let's take a quick look at the promos here. We're going to go ahead and keep one set in the plastic, but let's go ahead and take a look here at the cards themselves. We got Annihilate EX. Angry Judge put up the 12 damage counters on this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage for each damage counter that you placed in this way. So he's going to do quite a bit of damage if you go ahead and attach 12 damage counters. He's going to do 100, oh wait, 240 damage. But, of course, it's going to eat into his 320 HP. It's going to leave him a little bit weak. Here's your code if you want to go ahead and grab these. We got a basic Mankey, uh, 1 for 10 and 2 for 30. And we got a Primeape. The only reason that these cards are here is to evolve into this Annihilate BX. Not really the best evolution line, but, uh, you know, something interesting to look at. I'm sure you can find a way to use that Annihilate with uh, maybe a bunch of heal cards or something like that. You could probably get this to work for you in a deck. We also got two Silver Tempest packs that have been just floating around on my desk. Uh, if you don't know, I open a Silver Tempest pack. Well, I try to open a Silver Pe Tempest pack daily. Uh, and I just haven't had the chance to do it. I've been so busy you guys Incredibly busy, but uh, pretty soon hopefully within the next month or so I'll be getting back to regular uploads and we also got a fusion strike pack I don't know how long this fusion strike pack has been sitting here But I think it's about time. We just go ahead and get right into it starting with this fusion strike pack. I suspect that this fusion strike pack was here from the time that we did the timed video where I opened as many fusion strike packs as I could within five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the card trick for the fusion strike. As we know, the later sets of Scarlet and Violet, we do not need the card trick anymore, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and use the sets that do require it. Um, actually, the other day, funnily enough, when I was playing the Pokemon, go, uh, Pokemon TCG Live, I did run into somebody using this Hariyama in a deck. And uh, I, they didn't win, but it was pretty interesting to see. We have behind this Reverse Morpeko, we got a regular Rare Absol. We're gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. And we're also gonna knock out these two Silver Tempest packs. We are still chasing that Lugia V alternate art from Silver Tempest. It's been quite a while uh, that we've been looking, almost a year. I don't remember exactly when Silver Tempest came out last year but I believe we're getting pretty close to it being a year that we've been chasing that card. Got an Araquanid. I'm getting more and more into the TCG Live as I'm more familiar with some of these modern cards, learning the uh, strategies from them. We got a regular rare RK9. I'm having a lot of fun exploring and just building decks, trying to find interesting mechanics to exploit in some way, shape, or form. We got another card there, and we got one, two, three, four cards to the front. Go ahead and start with this lightning energy and a dream trainer. Guys, I'm thinking about doing a live stream where we build a deck on stream and use it immediately. We got a trainer gallery, Drudagon, and followed by a regular rare Fioni. So both of those Silver Tempest packs Nothing in that final rare slot. Let's see, where are my sleeves? 
Let's get this Drudagon in a sleeve. And let's get this Annihilate PX in a sleeve as well. In order to do a stream like that, I will need at least a few people watching uh, to help me come up with a strategy to take advantage of. So if you guys want to be a part of that, oh, that was, that was interesting. It was backwards. If you guys do want to be a part of that, please let me know and uh, we'll see if we can get that going. What is this? Magnazone V. Guys, that was a white code card with a Magnazone V? That had to have been an error, or maybe they just didn't really care about that, but that is a basic little hit here out of Lost Origin. Lost Origin, one of the sets in the recent uh, set releases, well I say recent, probably within the last uh, a year or so, they reintroduced the Lost Zone mechanics. In other words, once the card is out and in the Lost Zone, okay, both of those white code cards, maybe this one will have a hit as well. So let's just go ahead and do the card trick. Um, once a card is in the Lost Zone, it cannot be put into play again. It's not like the discard pile where it can be reused uh, due to the effects of a card. Lost Zone, it is lost, it is gone. We got a Shellos, Reverse, Poliwag, followed by a regular rare Malamar. And that, my friends, is it for our Sword and Shield packs. We're gonna go straight into Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet being the newest uh, era of Pokemon. These packs do not require a card trick. What is going? What is? What is going on here? I do not understand what is going on with these. The code cards are just everywhere. These packs do not require a card trick. They have all the holographics in the rear, including the first reverse, the second reverse, which could be <laughs> ultra rare or a SAR, and then we have the regular hollow in the back, which could be, I believe, the EXs or I think the alternate EXs. Got into another Scarlet and Violet pack. Guys, how have you been with uh, your, uh, how have you been doing with your new Scarlet and Violet packs? Uh, Scarlet and Violet cards in the Pokemon TCG. I know there are a lot of interesting attacks that have come out since the beginning of Scarlet and Violet. Pretty much, uh, pretty much nixing every other strategy that came before it. We got a regular hollow Psychozar from the previous Sword and Shield games. I do see quite a bit of Sword and Shield uh, era cards still in use in the TCG Live. And uh, they, they're still doing their, they're still doing pretty good using a lot of using a lot of new strategies with these cards we got a backscalibur this is good i needed one of these for my uh, what is it chien pao deck i'm actually i'm actually gonna see if i can build a a, a, a physical chien pao deck to take to a pokemon league pretty soon here uh hopefully we'll get that going we got a Krogon. Rookadi, Magnemite. Guys, so far nothing incredible in this opening. We gotta have at least one SAR. I mean, I would imagine we could get one. We got a regular rare Mimikyu. Nothing special. Going into our last two packs of Paldea Evolved. Not to mention, we picked up that reverse Frigibrax. Another good card here to have on your on your bench. Uh, guys, I am beginning to feel like this opening has been completely duddified. We got an Archer Bax there. Don't really need it. Not really going to use it. But we got it there. We got a Blessed... We got a gar Garden still? I'm not familiar with this guy. Uh, with Blessed Salt ability, doing this Pokemon check appeal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. So this actually might be a good ability to use with Annihilate. Uh, heal 20 damage right there. That's 40 damage that the Sinaiolape is able to put out. You get a couple of these on your bench. Get maybe four of those on your bench. Healing 80 damage. That Sinaiolape is doing 160 damage every turn. 
last pack here is getting a little bit difficult. Let's hope for some last pack magic. We're going to pull the card off to the side there. And uh, let's go ahead and draw through this. Hopefully, we get an SAR. Both of these boxes turned out to be pretty weak. Nothing spectacular. But uh, maybe here? No, Pineco. At least in the X. Come on. High Drygon. Wow. Two horrible boxes. Guys, guess what? I'm glad I picked them up because that leaves better cards out there for you guys. If you guys appreciate me picking up all the trash so you guys have all the good stuff out there, leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have any new strategies that you guys are willing to use or looking into uh, possibly finding a way to exploit during your next TCG event. Uh, other than that, guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, and I hope I'll be seeing you guys 